Okay, so finally, this idea of the strength of aggregation. You remember that I said that um, the, the more possible it is to aggregate information across all of the different identities that you have, the more possible it is to build a complete picture of you. And so what's the strength of the aggregation? Well, I came across this article that, um, that, kind, of, that kind of gives may, maybe the state of the art. And it's about um, a U.S. government organization that's commissioning a project to look at all the social networking and all the publicly available information across, um, across Latin America to try and do what? To try and figure out what's going on in Latin America and also to try and figure out, is it okay? Is it okay for us? Now, doesn't that sound a lot like data warehousing? That is the idea of data warehousing, right? We put a lot of data in the warehouse and then we decide what's going on and what should we do about it? Well, governments would like to know that about the population at large. In Latin America, what's going on right now? What are the big trends? What are, what are people talking about? And B, is it okay? Do we need to you know, do some covert military action because it's not okay? We see that all of a sudden something's gonna happen. There's gonna be an attack on the American embassy or something like that. So it's not only corporations that are, that are doing this data aggregation and data mining to try and find the bits of information that they really can, are concerned about, it's governments as well. And I like this really, this idea of the data eye in the sky. Eye in the sky refers to satellites that are looking down on populations and seeing what's going on. This is a data eye in the sky and this is kind of the, you know, the, whether or not this is okay, that's up for you to decide, but I'll, I'll say kind of what's going on. It's massive data mining across all of the sources of information that are available freely on the internet to try and figure out from a government standpoint what should, what's going on and what should we do. So, the strength of aggregation, you know, my personal opinion is that the strength of aggregation is still far below your ability to create information and it's still very hard to aggregate all the information about you, but you know, how long will it be till it's possible to aggregate all that information? And what's really maybe more to the point is not could they aggregate information, but once they've aggregated information, what sense could they make out of it? So we've already said that if you could aggregate your entire identity across the entire internet, it might not make any sense because you do different things in different places. And so are you going to attack the American embassy or are you not going to attack the American embassy? It may not be possible to tell. And of course, the people who are going to attack the American embassy, are they going to be so silly as to, are they going to be so silly as to say that? Or will they be more covert? And will it just be tons and tons of data about people who have no intentions of doing anything contrary to the, to the interests of either a corporation or a government and teeny, teeny little bits of information that needle in a haystack of the people who are. And that's really the big issue for data mining for national security is that's a huge haystack and there's very little needles and those needles are very small because the people who really do have ill intent know how to hide their tracks.